Hello, welcome to the world of data science. And in this video, we are going to talk about the proximity measures, um, which I've divided into three parts. And in this video, we are going to focus only on simple matching coefficient and uh, jacquard coefficient. Let's go by the definition on what is simple matching coefficient. It is a, one of the commonly used uh, similarity coefficient and it is basically used to compare two different binary objects containing the binary attributes. Okay, I would say it is um, basically a ratio of the matching attribute values and it is going to consider both the presences and the absences equally. So if you go by the definition in the numerator, you would probably see um, the presence value and the absence value because here um, 1 comma 1 talks about presence and 0 comma 0 talks about absence and you can always go through this uh, definition a little later but you will be able to understand a little bit better if you go through the example so let's go through the example directly because this is a simple formula but you will be able to interpret this a little better when we go through the formula now let's look at this example where we have uh, been given with x and y containing a list of 10 attributes uh, which is binary um, and this may probably interpret something else but which we will not talk about that in this example we will we have reserved that in the example too but this is a very toy example now whenever any such questions are being asked you may have to probably convert the uh, x value and y value into um, column vector something like this if you look at this example I have converted this x as a row into x as a column so that you can compare easily uh, between x and y right now and then we need to understand and calculate f of 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 all right this is the formula given and Let's talk about just 1 comma 0 first because this is what we see here 1 comma 0 and we have to make it as 1 because I've seen 1 comma 0 in this example and similarly I don't see any other 1 comma 0 so because of that I don't have to make an entry here at all so in total it is going to be giving 1 and I need to substitute 1 here. Similarly the next value is 1 comma 1 and I've seen 1 comma 1 here, so I just need to make it as 1 here. But there are no other 1 comma 1, so I'll just simply make the total as 1. Okay. Now the next example is 0 comma 0. Now in this example, we have seen a combination of 6 0 comma 0s. Okay. So we need to make all these 6 0 comma 0s to 1 so that it sums up to 6, which means it interprets to be there are six absences where the attribute was not available in x as well as one sorry y in y as well and that is the interpretation here all right now the finally we have seen the 0 comma 1 here which is 0 comma 1 here 0 comma 1 and this is what 0 comma 1 we are going to make as 1 1 to become 2 now, if we try to substitute this formula, we are going to simply replace f of 1 comma 1 with 1 because I see 1 comma 1 to be 1 and similarly f of 0 comma 0 to be 6 because I see f of 0 comma 0 to be 6. This means there are 6 absences and only 1 presence and out of this pattern which means 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 which means they are not available in any of these examples which means x is available with 0 whereas y is having 1 and vice versa now this f of 0 comma 1 is nothing but here and we're going to replace this with 2 here and similarly 1 is nothing but f of 1 comma 0 because f of 1 comma 0 is total is 1 and similarly f of 1 comma 1 is nothing but 1 so the total gives uh, 0.7 which is the ratio which is nothing but the percentage which means this tells that there is a close to 70 percent similarity between x and y that is the interpretation okay now i know this is a very kind of a toy example let's go through a better example um, where 
we have been given with a two different statements one statement says that john has bought a shoe a pair of socks bread jam and in from amazon and he was browsing through all the other electronic items but but he did not buy any of the cell phone mouse usb flash drive uh, but he was just simply browsing that and simply uh, again the, the the similar example is uh, given for nancy where she has bought socks shoe and peanut butter but she has not bought any other item but she was simply browsing through blue play blu ray player and mouse pad now how do we find the similarity pattern or similarity matching coefficient or simple matching coefficient here right um remember the formula f of 1 comma 1 plus f of 0 comma 0 divided by all the possible other combinations as well now in this example we need to i mean in case if such an example is uh, given um then we need to try to identify the list of all distinct attributes and then write it in the column header and then we will have to uh, uh, prepare a kind of a term frequency vector something like this and uh, similarly we need to prepare a table called f of 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 like this okay now um i have made shoe to be 1 and 1 because i see shoe was bought by both john and nancy look at this example shoe was bought by john as well as nancy and similarly socks was also bought by a pair of socks was bought by john and nancy as well now bread it seems that bread has been bought by john but not by nancy so i have to make it a zero because she did not buy a bread and similarly jam john has bought it but nancy did not buy it and similarly peanut butter john has not bought the peanut butter but nancy has bought it so i have to make nancy's row to be 1 whereas john value to be 0 and similarly uh, we need to make all the other extra values to be become 0 because uh, those values are not available in any of uh, uh, the matching um, buying pattern because uh, cell phone mouse usb blu ray player and mouse pad they were all just browsed but not bought so we have to consider them as zero because none of them were bought okay now in this example we need to find uh, the numerator and denominator so let's go through f of 0 comma 0 because i see five columns with 0 comma 0 pattern and so we have made f of 0 comma 0 to be 5 and similarly f of 0 comma 1 to be 1 and similarly f of 1 comma 0 to become 2 because i see two patterns where john um, has bought bread and jam but nancy has not brought them bought them and similarly f of 1 comma 1 to become 2 now if you simply substitute this value it becomes 0 0.7 similarly because the numerator is f of 1 comma 1 plus f of 0 comma 0 now this again says that in this example 70 percent of the similarity in the buying pattern is available between john and nancy especially when we try to compare the buying pattern for this example alone it doesn't say anything else now what we find it odd is um, we are trying to extrapolate the overall numerator and denominator by adding those items that are not bought by john and nancy because this interprets to be because we see uh, this phi was added this phi is contributed from here and this is from here because we are telling that cell phone mouse usb flash drive were not bought by john as well as nancy and similarly whatever nancy was browsing through she did not buy it nor uh, john has bought it as well right so we are trying to extrapolate by adding additional values which is not relevant and because of this the overall matching coefficient or the similarity coefficient is getting elevated or inflated and that is where jacquard coefficient is going to play a vital role where jacquard coefficient says that we give importance only to the um, positive matches and not to the negative matches because here um, we just remove the 0 comma zeros from the simple matching coefficient because this is a negative matches which means none of them have bought anything so we don't have to consider that 
whereas we have to consider whatever is bought by john but not by nancy and similarly whatever is bought by nancy but not by john those are the two items that we are really interested in that is what jacquard coefficient says so jacquard coefficient we have to remove f of 0 comma 0 of 0 which is the negative matches because as per the definition negative matches are considered to be unimportant and we are going to consider only those attributes that are matching in the both vectors now if you look at the same example and we try to calculate jacquard coefficient it turns out to be that the actual coefficient values point to fine our example one because here we have not added f of 0 comma 0 anywhere in this formula because this is completely removed as per jacquard coefficient so we have to have only f of 1 comma 1 which is nothing but 1 here and the remainder is nothing but the sum of all these values except 1 comma sorry 0 comma 0 so it turns out to be the value is 0 0.25 whereas the initial simple matching coefficient this is simple matching coefficient gave us 0.7 now it says that 0.25 which is actually only 25% of the similarity is existing between these two set of values but not 75% or 70% which was uh, given by simple matching coefficient that is the interpretation here now if you try to apply the same formula here it turns out to be the jacquard coefficient for the example 2 for the same exact example which we have seen for simple matching coefficient it turns out to be there is actually a 40% of similarity between John's buying pattern and Nancy's buying pattern where a simple matching coefficient has extrapolated the overall value to become 70% which is not right and that's why Jacquard coefficient is going to play a vital role in finding the data similarity between two different uh, binary attributes. So in short we use Jacquard coefficient to measure the similarity uh, when we try to consider all the negative matches to be unimportant and consider only the positive matches with respect to the um, positive matches and um, the vice versa like where John has bought X and Nancy has not bought X and similarly vice versa so that is the, that is the formula here I hope this helps in carrying out a couple of examples or more examples with respect to Jacquard and uh, simple matching coefficient we have to definitely understand um, the negative matches especially in jacquard coefficient because that has really extrapolated or inflated the overall matching coefficient or the similarity value uh, which is unnecessary and that's what jacquard has completely eliminated and thus by giving the true coefficient which is 2 stands for f of 1 comma 1, 1 which is the numerator because in this example f of 1 comma 1 is 2 and similarly 1 is nothing but f of 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 nothing but all these three sum and we don't include f of 0 comma 0 because we don't require that because that is going to inflate the overall value all right um, I think this helps to understand the basic fundamental difference between Jacquard coefficient and simple matching. Um, keep watching the space for uh, discussion on the other three more proximity measures in my next video. Thank you.